Will Saquon Barkley be signing a new contract very soon? Will he hold out? I've already done a video on this. We talked about it yesterday, but I want to update you specifically around what to expect and predicting how this is going to happen based on what I'm hearing and based on the, the tea leaves that are out there in the news world. So buckle up. We're talking Saquon Barkley. What you should do, what you should expect, and how you should draft around this and take advantage while you still have a little bit of time to make some trades, whether it's Dynasty, whether you're drafted in a best ball draft underdog fantasy promo code smitty and you're not too sure if you should be drafting barkley the answer is you should be i'm talking about it right now the fantasy football show begins right now this is the fantasy football show with your host smitty Okay, so there's a lot of buzz right now about the franchise tag players. You got Tony Pollard, you got Josh Jacobs, and you got Saquon Barkley, all franchise tagged on the running back $10.1 million tender. Jacobs has not signed his franchise tag. Saquon has not signed his franchise tag. Tony Pollard has signed his franchise tag, and we hope that he gets extended because that gives him more security in Dynasty. You don't want Tony Pollard going out there and getting hurt in 2023 on a franchise tag because then... He may not have a job waiting for him if teams, when he hits free agency in 2024, are like, uh, he hasn't stayed healthy two years in a row. So very volatile player from a dynasty perspective, even though we love Tony Pollard. A long-term deal would be just what we need for his dynasty value. This is not about Pollard. This is not about Jacobs. We'll talk about Jacobs in another video. But Saquon Barkley, two things. I'm hearing one thing from somebody very, very close to the situation that they're far apart. Then I'm hearing another person pretty close to the situation saying that this is probably going to get done here's my take on it and, and I, I preface that i'm predicting and trying to read the tea leaves here between the two different sides of information that i'm getting mixed with the news which broke over the last 24 hours diana russini from espn's reporting that barkley and the giants remain at a stalemate with the deadline to reach a new deal approaching monday july 17th so this news coupled with everything that i'm hearing from the little birdies out there that your boy does talk to from time to time i'm predicting that this thing works out well number one even if barkley doesn't get his long-term deal which is still on the table i'm not saying it's a guaranteed lock that barkley signs a 13 or 14 million dollar contract which according to this report is what's being offered the giants extended an offer to barkley worth 13 million per year including 26 million over the first two years this deal is a pretty decent deal it's not what barkley wants barkley's trying to push a little bit to get a, a little extra trying to go to 14 trying to go to 14 and a half Barkley wants roughly 16 million per year, but I can tell you what Barkley doesn't want to walk into this year, given the ACL Terry's had before, and he knows how this could play out. He doesn't want to walk into yet another season next year when he turns 27 without a long-term deal. At 27 years old, he's not getting a two or a three-year deal with 26 million guaranteed at 13 or 14 million dollars a pop. He's definitely, at 27 years old, not getting even this offer, let alone the offer he's waiting and holding out for. A smart person, his agent, the people I'm talking to suggest that he knows, because he's a smart guy, that this probably won't even be there next off season by another team at the age of 27. He is merely pushing this thing as far as he can go. The deadline's the 17th. If Barkley doesn't agree to this new contract that we're hearing that's being offered by the, the Giants, $13 million per year with $26 million over the first two years. If he does not agree to this, he knows, Barkley knows he will not even get that next year he's gonna accept it he's gonna accept the best offer in my opinion based on what i'm hearing he's gonna accept at the in the 11th hour in a couple days the best offer at the end of the day that the giants are offering him because he's turning 27 years old in february and there's no way he's sniffing these numbers next offseason Eckler's going into his 28 year old season and can't get the Chargers who he's worked for and delivered for to give him an extension. Barkley's smarter than that and we need to take advantage of this in fantasy football. If you're in a best ball draft underdog fantasy promo code Smitty we're drafting tonight so jump in to the link it's in the, the description of every video I have underdog fantasy or use code Smitty and get signed up. They'll match up to $100 in your first deposit but if you're not signed up ahead of time you'll miss the draft but in underdog drafts you can get this man 
in the second round. You can get him at 14, 15, 16, 17 overall, and Saquon Barkley deserves to be a first rounder. I'm not saying reach in the first round. This is not a video to tell you to go get him in round number one. I am not saying that. Even if he went in round one, I might consider taking him, but my point here is that I love him in round two. I like him in round one. I don't want you taking him in round one. If his ADP climbs, which it surely could, the moment he signs this long-term deal, which I believe he will, of about $13 million per year, 13 to 14, maybe the, the Giants move to about 13 and a half or 14 million a year, or some sort of incentive or some extra signing bonus, that could kick it over the edge. The moment he signs it, I predict he does, his ADP climbs on underdog or wherever from 15, 16, 14, 13 overall into the 1.11 1.12 2.1 overall territory take advantage of getting barkley as your second drafted player right now while you still can because it bakes in every bit of risk this guy's a top five to seven running back in 2023 you are looking at a top five to seven running back that you're getting at 14 15 sometimes 16 overall go win a league i fully expect him just my prediction assessing the situation with over 20 years of experience doing this that he's going to sign this deal and at the very least he's going to report and play because the 10.1 million dollar franchise tag is what he's going to get no matter what once july 17 comes once july 17 is here the giants can't offer him anything he can't request anything they're not allowed to give him a contract after july 17 it's done barkley would be locked into 10.1 million either way he's playing 2023 because holding out wouldn't get him a new contract he's playing at 10.1 million no matter what after july 17 which is why he's pushing this to the limit go get him don't believe that he's holding out don't believe that he's not going to fold and sign the best offer on the table because it's a good deal for him as an rb in a world where rbs are completely disrespected and not paid what they deserve believe in barkley now get out of here. This is the Fantasy Football Show with your host, Smitty.